Terrence Davis is the undrafted rookie who broke through the seams for the Toronto Raptors in the 2020 season. In 72 games this season, Terrence Davis averaged 7.5 points, 3 rebounds, and 1.5 assists on 46% shooting from the field and almost 40% from 3. The 22-year-old Davis has shown potential to become an all-star caliber player at some point in his career. On the court, he's nothing short of extremely talented, extremely athletic, strong, good shooter, and a developing playmaker. But his off-the-court antics could be the demise of a successful career for TD2. On the evening of October 27, Terrence Davis was arrested in Manhattan, New York, for what was originally stated as assaulting a woman. On the morning of October 28, it was stated that he allegedly slapped his girlfriend. And based on this allegation, he's facing an assault charge in NYC. But this isn't the first time that we've seen off-court antics like this from Terrence Davis. If you remember at the beginning of the NBA bubble, Terrence Davis was pictured wearing a mask with a hole cut in the middle of it. Additionally, Davis questioned the legitimacy of the coronavirus in a post on Instagram, and Raptors management had to come to the rescue by giving Davis a warning about these antics regarding the mask and the coronavirus. We've seen promising careers derailed due to off-court antics. A prime example is Gilbert Arenas. Despite a catastrophic MCL injury in 2007, he brought four guns into the Wizards locker room in December 2009 due to an incident with his teammate Javaris Crittenton over a game of Boo which if you don't know is an infamous card game that NBA players play on their plane rides between locations to pass the time. Arenas was one of the most polarizing players in the entire NBA in the mid-2000s three-time All-Star, and in 2005-2006 season, he averaged 29 points per game for the Wizards. And nearly six years later, by 2012, after only playing 10 seasons in the NBA, he was retired. And a lot of this is to do with the MCL injury, like I mentioned, but this did not help. This was part of a big factor in what derailed his career early. The rise and fall of many NBA players follow suit with this, We've seen a guy like Matt Barnes who had a long NBA career that abruptly ended in early 2017 because of an assault charge that he had. The NBA has been known to penalize players for assault charges and criminal offenses. Adam Silver will not hesitate to end a player's career if they do not represent the league in the right light. For Terrence Davis, this assault charge could be the black mark early in his career that leads to him spiraling out of the league. That would be so disappointing because he's shown so much potential and promise in his rookie season. He bet on himself. He went undrafted, got drafted by the Toronto Raptors, and neither side has ever looked back. He's been an excellent player for the team off the bench, and he's shown so much promise and potential. But these off-the-court antics need to stop. Terrence Davis has to get himself together or I could potentially see the Toronto Raptors trading him away to get rid of his off-court baggage that he that he brings with him. But my prediction, I think that this event is not going to be the end of Terrence Davis. He's so young, he's got so much potential, and I think this is just his first mistake. And that as more information is revealed, we're going to be more clear on what happened. And I feel like the Toronto Raptors management and Adam Silver and the NBA is going to let him off with a warning. We've seen many players have these sort of similar situations, one with Draymond Green assaulting a man and many other players who have assaulted or gotten charges, criminal charges specifically, and have continued to play in the league and thrive. But for Terrence Davis, if he does continue down this path, if he gets another charge in his near future if he continues to misrepresent the NBA I would not be surprised if his NBA career is cut short